Hello and welcome to Northern Nails. Today I'm going to show you how I like to do just a simple daisy um, so that it looks layered and not just like a blob. So for the base today I used Ugly Duckling Black and on top I used the Ugly Duckling Matte Top Coat mixed with the Daily Charm metallic chrome flake in copper. And for the flower, I'm going to use the Ugly Duckling Schmelt It White. I don't have the gel paint yet. So this is what I've been using for my designs. And it's pretty pigmented, so it works really well. And I'm going to use the Ugly Duckling Detailer Brush. And this is my favorite for fine details. I joke in the salon, and uh, Bob Ross used to say, two hairs and some air, and that's exactly what this brush is. To mark my spot, I'm going to use this Medium Yellow by Reeves, and it's just an acrylic paint. And I don't know why I didn't use just a white dot from the gel paint, but this dry air dries, so as I work with it, it doesn't really move around. Or sorry, as I work around it, it doesn't move because it's dried to the nail. So I'm going to mark my starting point and this is just to give me an idea of what I'm working around to, so that my flower stays symmetrical. And so as I lay out my first petals I kind of do this cross hatching. And I always cure the first few petals just so that I know where I'm starting. And if I have to wipe in the future, those won't move. Once I'm happy with my first layer of petals, I cure that in the LED lamp for 30 seconds. And then I put a matte top coat over top of that to create a layer between the first layer of petals and the second layer of petals. And this is going to create a de depth and dimension within your flower. The great thing about the Ugly Duckling top coats is that they can be applied really thin um, for something like this. And I'm just placing the second layer of petals between my first layer of petals. And this second layer, you could just leave it like that if you really like it. Um, but personally, I like a little bit more dimension. So once I'm done this, I'm going to cure it again and apply another base or another top coat, um, matte top coat over top of it to seal that in for my third layer of petals. This is the top coat before I wipe off the inhibition layer. Now I'm going to go in with my final layer of petals. And of course I make mistakes, so I'm wiping them off because I don't like the positioning. And the last layer of petals are not in line with the bottom petals. To create that depth, you want them to be a little shorter. And to create the center after it's been cured, I'm using two shades of the Ugly Duckling colors number 64 and number 166 and the reason is is because ugly duckling doesn't really have like a bicycle yellow um, that I would like to use for this so 
these two colors kind of create that shade that I'm looking for. And I'm just going to use an orange wood stick to mix these and to put the dot on. I do have a dotting tool, but why waste a perfectly good stick? Once I was happy with that, I finished it off by curing and then applying a glossy top coat and I chose to use the Ugly Duckling No Wipe Top Coat. And if you like this button, be sure to hit subscribe and also hit the thumbs up below. I will be posting more videos on how to do simple floral designs in the near future, so keep an eye out for those.